Our nonprofit has been making educational games for a few years now. First was a word game that we did in partnership with biologist and author Richard Dawkins. Our second was released during the 2016 election in collaboration with PolitiFact, the Pulitzer Prize winning fact checking organization. My name is Christopher Jarvis, and I am here today to talk about a video game, a math video game. So the premise of the game is really very simple. We're all familiar with solving for x in an algebraic expression. But rather than solving for numerical constants, you're instead solving for uh, the operators themselves. So for example, 4 equals uh, 2 question mark 2. The operator could represent addition, multiplication, or something else entirely. Something that, that is completely invented for the purposes of obfuscating the correct answer. We really don't know until we collect more data points. And that really makes this, at its core, a game of interpolation. I knew from the very beginning that I wanted to make a game where you have to calculate the same number over and over again. And the first number that came to mind, uh, perhaps the most infamous number you could say, is 666. And that is why the game is called The Devil's Calculator. There's a story where there's a, a young man going for a math test, his calculator is possessed, and typical arithmetic operators like addition and subtraction are replaced with alien symbols. Like that diamond symbol, that is a unary function. That is to say it takes in one input and returns one output. So let's play around with it a little bit and see if we can't figure out what's going on. Nine diamond is 13, okay? Three diamond is seven. Two diamond, six. So pretty obvious here. Uh, the unary function is adding four each time. So to calculate 666, we would subtract four from 666, giving us 662. Second level, let's keep trying. So six diamond is 600, that's different. Four diamond is 400, but we're multiplying by 100. So 6.66 diamond. Now, let's, let's see if anything's different. So six diamond is 18. Okay, maybe it's adding 12, all right, we'll see. Two diamond is 10, oh, okay, that, that's out. Five diamond, seven diamond. Well, let's graph it. Maybe it's something non-algebraic. Well, it is fully linear, so we know that it there, there is some algebraic property to it, maybe in the form of mx plus b, and in fact, it's, it's 2x plus 6. 666 minus 6 divided by 2, 330. Now, on this next level, one of the keys is on fire. If you click a button that has fire on a level, <laughs> It's not, you, you can't use that numeral. Nine diamond, three diamond is 14, uh, eight diamond, 19. Okay, so we're adding 11 each time. So 666 minus 11 is, uh, so that's not good, 655. What we'll need to do is we'll actually need to use the diamond function twice in succession. And this introduces one of the first of several escalating mechanics. We have sophisticated tools within the game, access to Wolfram Cloud APIs, export to Weka, or you want to export to CSV, uh, calculators, and that is very much encouraged. It's more about the puzzle solving and trying to decipher the logic behind the answers. There are other operators in the game. This takes in two inputs and provides us one output. Same idea, but you are expected to use both in tandem like this, nine diamond pitchfork eight is way different than nine pitchfork eight diamond. So in this particular level, nine diamond is 900, eight diamond, 800. So multiplying by 100, very familiar. Uh, let's see about the pitchfork. Eight pitchfork nine returns 0.8 repeating. <laughs> eight pitchfork eight, one, its division. There are, are two ways I, I guess we could work backwards. We could try to arrive at 666 using the binary uh, function last, using division last, um, or we could try to feed into the diamond function what we know would yield 666, which in this case is 6.66. Um, the easiest would be 666 divided by 100. We can't do that. So let's do something like 333 divided by 50. 
So what I'm most proud of with this game is that it has a full level editor. So you can create your own levels and share them with the community. And we also have a DLC section, which allows us to showcase our favorite levels, many of which are written by very famous mathematicians. You know, the idea behind this game and where it came from. Not to get into any detail, machine learning is essentially multivariate interpolation. That is to say, uh, you're taking data, you're, you're looking at patterns, you're trying to find a formula that fits to that data as closely as possible. You might imagine how that was the, the basis for this, gathering data, looking at that data, analyzing it, and trying to work backwards to figure out the mechanics of how these functions really work.